just because when we got here where they were and they you know they've had a they won championship since we won it maybe a couple of times uh, I think they are I think they I think they are and I, and I think it's really program wide I think you know I watch when we play them in softball you know it seems to me that all our sports are more competitive against them. You know this better than I do, Mike, but it just it seems like we identify with playing each other. Isn't that an odd thing considering that they're so far 12 away. hours away or whatever it is, you know? Yeah, but let's get back to regional football. <laughs> um, but I, I tell you, uh, good players like to play against the best. And um, our players that have been out there with with a Lawrence Rick or uh, shoot, they had a safety over there one year. What was that guy's name? Burge. Burge. Tristan Burge. Tristan Burge. I mean, you know, as a player, you know when you're playing against a really good player, and they've had some that our guys just really respected, straight up, clean. Uh, there's probably been more pure respect competitor to competitor because they are great competitors. I mean, they play. They play every time we play them, and they all play hard, and they try to play physical, uh, and they do play physical. But uh, I think there's a reason, and, and you'd have to take a poll, but for me, I mean, Coach Boo's part of it, Mike Shanahan's part of it. I mean, every time I see Mike, that's all he, I haven't seen him that much since I've been here, but I've seen him enough to where, hey, you got us last time, we'll get you this time, you know, or that kind of thing. I don't know Sean Payton or Tony Romo, but I know Shanahan. It's a big deal for him. Can you speak to the effort that uh, that fellow sitting next to you gave you in his first? Well, game he tried to get all those first two games squeezed into one, try to have a, uh, because he was sitting on ready. I mean, and I'll say this: he he never flinched. Um, and, and he was there for the, because the, and he's a leader, and he's a, the other players care about him. He's a relationship guy. And the two weeks that he didn't play, those other players could, they were, if he had acted discouraged, it had taken something out of them. And he was there in the huddle, uh, encouraging, standing on the sideline. I mean, he's a, he's classy. Um, he did, he did a lot of what he did for other people. Now, and then he finally got a chance to play, and I'm sure he was, you know, he's got some things he's got to get used to. He knows that. He's seen the film, but he's definitely a talent. And he's got a great motor. You know, he, he can be anything, anything he wants to be. Clarence, I mean, the league obviously yesterday recognized you as the newcomer of the league for, you know, for what you did. Did you have a... A, after you played Saturday, did you think you had a, an award-winning kind of first game? And then when they told you that you got the conference award, what, you know, what did you think of that? Uh, I was excited to have that award. I just was out there playing for a win for my team. That's all. The, the, how do you follow that? You know, what, as the progression grows, do you, your game two now is next week in a big conference game. What are you thinking about? It'll be build? better because Nothing like getting that first one out of the way. He's going into game two. I know he's going to be better. <laughs> Don't mind me speaking for you, DJ. I don't know, sir, not at all. <laughs> and you add to that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You wouldn't have said that, but I had to say that. Uh, just correcting my mistakes, uh, being a better player next time, being in a better position. I mean, it was just neat to open and kick off. Who's the guy that's making the play? Who's the guy that played for the first two games and then it just kind of was kind of a, a, a neat beginning that was the first play of the game and you were on the first play but and you told me upstairs it just happened that way I mean it wasn't like oh I got to go get this guy to show people something on the first play I'm on the field there was not no feeling like that at all was there for you? No, not at all. and then to make the first tackle of the game I mean that just about the emotions about that? I mean, you, know. you were emotional. Oh, yeah, I was very excited. I mean, it's been two weeks since I've been out there. 
been a while since I actually played a football game. Uh, just felt like I had my energy level was a lot higher. I wish we could have had a camera on your mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Lynette, I think probably was coming up out of her seat. Yeah. You know anything about any of these teams in this league? I mean, I know you're brand new here for the most part. Yeah, what have they told you about the folks you're playing this week and the league that you're, you know, that you're in? Uh, I actually didn't know much about the league until I got here. Uh, they said the best team we probably would have been playing was Chattanooga, but I didn't get a chance to play. But I don't too much know anything about the rest of the team. Coach Crow, your neighbors, mm -hmm. they got the flags up this year? Your neighbors. Uh, I think they do. You know, I haven't looked over there. They're very serious about their the people across the street from me graduated from Eastern Illinois. Okay. Actually, there's a couple. She graduated from Eastern Illinois. He graduated from the University of Delaware. So he's waiting for us to get Delaware in the playoffs. <laughs> but she, uh, she must be a colonel or something. She's real serious about being competitive. So it's remember, up. No. I remember last year, you know, we, yeah. we talked about that, and they were pretty stoked about that. And yeah, they are, and, and uh, they are, and her mother, I mean, everybody in her family graduated from East Illinois. Remember last year, they all came over to my house. Uh, they may do that this year. That's bold. <laughs> the, uh, uh, without delving into too many details, uh, to the personnel changes and stuff that you went with Saturday stick this week or is practice week determine who goes where and that kind of stuff? Well, we're still trying to develop some guys. There's still some personnel issues, kicking teams, um, depth charts that can be affected. I mean, what we really tried to do last week was make sure that we had a double threat out there, A and B back kind of deal, which we talked about it, and we did last week. I thought we had a had a better effort at, at uh, you know having two quality players in the game, and Washon and, and Calvin, and uh, making sure that there was a constant double threat of those two guys. And I thought we did a pretty good job of doing that. It's always this way. We didn't get the ball or wideouts enough. There's always a little shortage somewhere. So the per use of personnel, you know, how much we use um, Coot, which is Demarcus James. I mean, there's and there's still some quality players on defense that I don't know. Sean Watson is a guy that, it, it, you know, there, there's a place for him at some point in time. Uh, Jakar Kenny, and uh, and we just we've got to make sure we know where they fit and give them a chance to make their plays, but they've got to prepare themselves to be in those situations, too. It, it, it's interesting that what you said. You Stephen didn't Coates is another one we got to figure out how, they, how we integrate him in there. You, uh, you talked about not getting the ball to the receivers enough last week. I know you only yeah. threw it 11 times, but it's funny because the week before, That's Calvin right. was sitting there and he says, well, we didn't get the ball to this guy enough. He gets it 20 times. If you read into that, that's to say that the it's receiver's going to get a whole bunch this week because you well, don't know. We don't morning. intend to have an eleven-yard throwing day, very you know, but that's it's the way it worked. It's not the way it was planned. And, and Clarence, I, did, I wanted to ask you this too. Um, and Coach talked about this going into the re, the ramping up the conference schedule. You know, from here, both from here through. Is it, is it a different feeling for player? I know every game you focus on one game and that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> is that from 03 or 04? That's 03. <laughs> That's what that championship ring mm -hmm. looks like. What's that look like? Uh, it looks good. It feels good, too. <laughs> <laughs> do, do players, do you, do you feel any, even when, when, I, when you were in high school, more than I think? Well, maybe you can probably address this from when you were at Ole Miss a little bit playing, too. When you get to the conference games, does it feel different? Is there the intensity different as a player, emotionally different, ramped up? How's that for uh, you going to conference games? More the intensity than level, intensity level right. always going to be up. The more uh, challenging that the opposing teams are, uh, energy level is going to be up. The emotion-wise, just preparing for the game, 
practices and different stunts and techniques. That's about it, really. And, and do you feel more ramped up during the practice week individually? At, you know, for, do you feel different when you get ready to play a conference team or have you? I don't you? know that he's been around here long enough. To, well, mean, not you know, not here, but you know, like last year when you were at Ole Miss yeah. and they played an SEC Always team as opposed right to here. somebody it's else. State. You know, yeah. is it state? Yeah. I don't. I'd like this one thing. I don't know how long it takes for it to get in your blood. That's why I put that ring on the finger. Uh -huh. You know, I, all these guys that are new, I don't know that they know yet how damn special wearing that ring is. The reason I put it on his finger, he still got probably a higher chemistry level if he was to be rolling out there against LSU or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, that transfers at some point in time. This would be a pretty good week for that to transfer. Yes, you going to give that back? <laughs> oh yeah, I give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's not the first time he's had it on. Uh, it, no sir.